Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And make sure you hit that like button. We are here for season four of this Coastal Carolina Shauna Clears Dynasty. And we are going up against Tennessee, number 23 in the nation. But they did lose their opener to Louisville. But we don't want to take them lightly. This is still an SEC school, even though they are 0-1 they're still ranked we're ready on the road to start this season and guys to look forward to Mike Specht I mean the guy is just a beast at linebacker I'm excited to see him and then on offense we do have the freshman J.R. Walker as well so this is gonna be an exciting season so here we go we do start out this game with the possession to start it out but right away an easy three and out for the volunteers as we had to punt this ball away as here comes Tennessee back out onto the field getting it to David Bradley on the first pass and that's going to be a three yard catch but on a second and seven giving it out to Jeremy Banks their impact running back and he picks up seven on that one so now on a third and one giving it to Tillman and he's getting three yards on that game so facing a first and ten here from the shotgun Jones going to have all the throw dumping it out to Bradley picking up eight yards on that one tackled by xavier davis his first time on the outside this year but on the next play on a trying to run to the outside and look who it is it's mike speck there for his first tackle and that's a big one a tackle for loss as he gets in and drives the running back back about four yards but on a third and seven here is jones throwing out to bradley once again and picking up a first down so this drive does continue as here is Jeremy Banks getting the handoff up the middle and he's getting 11 yards on that carry so first and goal now giving it off to Banks and he's gonna have a wide open lane to the end zone for the touchdown and that's gonna be seven nothing already for the volunteers here at home so now here comes Coastal back out on offense can we put together a drive but that's not a good start they sent some pressure we threw it away and Curtin 0 for 2 to start this game but on a second and 10 here is Tyron Summers getting a handoff and that's seven yards up the middle on that so facing a third and three we give it right back to him and Tyron Summers does pick up five yards that's enough for the first down so now second and six here from the shotgun a couple plays later throwing the ball deep while getting hit and that's going to be picked off by Greenwood the safety over the middle and that's Curtin's yeah, first yeah, mistake yeah, of the game yeah. as he gets hit on the throw the ball doesn't go exactly where it's supposed to and that's an interception as now Tennessee comes back out with another short field of to go to get to the end zone and it's going to be a second and one on this carry. And here's Jeremy Banks getting another big run as he breaks a tackle and makes it 42 yards up the field for a touchdown. And that is a great start by the Tennessee Volunteers. 14 to nothing here as we have to get this run going because, man, is Tennessee sending the pressure in the passing game? So now... We come back out, giving the ball to Tyron Summers. That's a good start, but on a first and 10 on the next play, rolling out to the right side, throwing out to Angel Gonzalez. And this was a guy I said is going to have a huge year receiving. He moves over to the slot full time now as he doesn't have Sam Forbes in front of him. So here's Kashawn Curtin running out to the left side, picking up nine on the scramble. So now at the 27-yard line, handing the ball off to Jimbo Brown. And Jimbo Brown, his first carry of the season, goes for 10 yards and he gets it down to a second in inches at the 15 yard line throwing a ball across the middle and jack Kleck, he holds on to that one in traffic and he get picks up 12 inside the five so now on a first and goal handed it off to summers and he coughs it up and little of tennessee is going to scoop it up and he's going to take this one back to about the 37 yard line wow tyrant summers fumbles it on the one yard line and look at this he was just that close to getting in but instead it's disaster and a turnover so now tennessee comes back out with a chance to make it a 21 point game already in the first quarter here is jeremy banks getting the handoff to the left side he's gonna get stopped before 
the first down marker on a second and six rolling out to the right and that's another freshman went as he gets in for the tackle making it a third and three so now a third and three Bruh. here is jeremy banks picking up another running lane and another first down a gain of 16 cedric granger missed that tackle so now on a second and five a couple plays later cedric granger comes back he gets his revenge a loss of five on the screen pass as they now get it to a third and nine but inside a field goal range here is jones from the shotgun thrown out to the left side into double coverage and that one is tipped and we do get them to settle for the field goal as we are still down 17 to nothing here to start this game not the best start not the start we wanted but here we do have some playmakers on offense getting it out to Justin Johnson on that play. So near, here on a first and 10, here is Tyron Summers getting the screen pass. And he's picking up seven yards on that catch. So second and three from the shotgun running the counter to the outside. And Tyron Summers putting on a juke move. And he's picking up 11 yards on that carry. So third and one from the shotgun. Here is Tyron Summers picking up a running lane and getting to the first down. Another gain of 11 as he moves the ball closer and closer into field goal range. So now on a second and 10, here is Summers getting going in the passing game, taking a big hit. He's got to hold on to that now because he's already coughed one up and they know they're going to be coming for that ball again. So third and seven here. Six minutes left in this second quarter, throwing out to the left side. Jack Kleck is open and that's going to be the first touchdown of season four for the Coastal Carolina. Shauna clears as Jack Kleck gets us on the board and that makes it 17 to seven here in this second quarter. But here is Jeremy Banks trying to get going and that's Alan King. He already has seven tackles in this game already so now on a third and nine dumping it across the middle and nobody accounts for the tight end bray and he's gonna pick up a big gain on that one making it 47 yards up the field to the 27 yard line so that's a heartbreaker on that so a couple plays later here on a third and one throwing it across the middle and picking up the first time that time of jason williams that was close to being deflected. So first and 10 inside the 15. Here is Jones having all day to throw. He's going to throw it to the outside, and Chris Stone is there. He should have had the interception, but he's a linebacker. He doesn't make many of those types of catches, so I expect him to drop that one. But on our next play, Jeremy Banks, he is torching us in the first half. He picks up 12 on that one so now on a first and goal handing the ball off to jeremy banks is jones and just like that they score another touchdown making it 24 to 7 so now we got to come back out on offense and match that production on the other side of the ball as tyron summers gets the five yard carry there as he gets it closer to the 50 yard line but here is key Sarakis jr Getting in, and he hasn't gotten much playing time last year, but he's going to be looking to get some this year. So here he is in once again on the next play, but this time it's going to Angel Gonzalez for a nine-yard reception, and he's got a few receptions in this one. So now on a second and one, here is the freshman J.R. Walker for his first catch of his collegiate career. I'm expecting big things from him this season as he's going to get in on a lot of packages, maybe a lot of reverses, jet sweeps, things like that. And he picks up 12. So now a couple plays later here on a second and two, getting it to Tyron Summers as this milk, this clock milks in between two minutes left in the half. So now on a second and seven, taking a sack as Kashawn Curtin as Emerson gets in for the sack. And they just have a dominant defensive line. Look at how easy they're getting through the line. But on the next play, J.R. Walker gets another catch. 15 yards, but this time he gets straight clocked on that one, but he holds on to it and gets inside the five-yard line. So 17 seconds left in this game, giving it off to Jimbo Brown, and that's why you give the big man the ball. He fights his way into the end zone for the touchdown, and he cuts this lead to within 10 going into half. So now to start this second half, here is Jones back out on the first play yeah. of the second half, and he almost makes a mistake. That's the All-American Chris Thornton. He drops another pick and gives this offense new life as they convert on the next play, getting it to Jeremy Banks 
for the 16-yard reception. So now second and three, throwing out to the left side is Jones, and picking it up is Tillman as he stays inbounds just enough to pick up the first down on a six-yard reception. So now here is Tillman on the next play, giving little Norman a mean stiff arm on that one and picking up the first down. So first and 10 inside the 20-yard line, throwing across the middle, and that drive was way too easy as Alante Taylor gets open across the middle. Where is the pass rush? Giving Jones all day to throw this ball as they now make it yet again a three-score lead to start this second half. So here on us, first and 10, here is Angel Gonzalez getting the jet sweep, and he's picking up a good 11-yard gain on that one. So now first and 10 at the 50-yard line. Here's Tyron Summers getting another open hole, and we're moving the ball pretty nicely here on this drive as well. So second and 11, here's Curtin from the shotgun, but the pocket collapses around him and he takes the sack, making it a third and 16. So here he is on a third and 16, rolling out to the right side. Nobody throw it to, so he takes the sack, tries to throw it away on that one, but that's a loss of seven, and that's a punt. So now, here comes Tennessee back out on offense, but this time Oliver Saxon is getting there for the tackle for loss on that one, loss of two. So they don't get anything on second down. Now in a third and 12, another clean pocket, but Allen King's gonna get there, and he's gonna hit the quarterback on the throw as that makes it a three and out for the Volunteers. So that's good defense finally as we show up on that drive. So now Justin Johnson starting out the next drive with a 13-yard reception and he's picking up the first down. So now three and a half minutes left in this third quarter, throwing the ball across the middle to Angel Gonzalez, picking up nine yards, nice throw by Curtin that time. So now on a third and one here is Jimbo Brown. Look at that perfect blocking on that one downfield all the way to the third level as Jimbo Brown gets 50 yards on that carry. So now here's Tyron Summers getting a nine yard carry on that one. So we're moving the ball on the ground as Tyron Summers gets yet another carry. So now we get it down to a first and goal. Here's Jimbo Brown back into the game and he's using his big body bully ball, Jimbo Brown, as he picks up the touchdown and that's back down to a 10 point lead. So we are staying in this game we're not going away gotcha, easy. So now back on the next possession, Steve Jones goes down. And that's Peter Gonzalez there for the sack. He's kind of the pseudo replacement for Danny Armstead on this defensive line as they go for a third and eight and they do not convert. So that's two straight punts for this defense. I think we're on to something here in the second half going into the fourth quarter as here is Tyron Summers picking up 21 yards on that carry, but on a second and eight, dumping it out to him, and he can't stay in bounds. That's a loss of three, so third and 11. This is crucial here on third down. Here's Curtin facing pressure up the middle. He's gonna scramble out to the left, get rid of it deep, and Angel Gonzalez is there for the catch. That's 35 yards down the field, and that's a clutch catch, a clutch throw by Kashawn Curtin, so this drive stays alive as we start the fourth quarter, as here is Tyron Summers getting the counter to the outside, and he's out running the defense, a 17 yard pickup, he's having a big gain, 135 yards in this game, so now on a second and goal, here he is getting a swing pass, wide open, touchdown, Kashawn Curtin to Tyron Summers, and that, that makes it a three-point game here, and we are right back in it. Seven minutes left in the fourth, so here is Jones back out on offense. On the first play and Bruh. wide open is Williams downfield. Somehow Orlando Norman leaves him wide open as he just sat in coverage and just fell asleep, and they pick up the large gain on that one. So this hurry-up offense comes back out onto the field, and that's a touchdown. Two plays, and that's a touchdown. So, man, we have to drive the length of the field once again to match that offense. So now on a first and 10, rolling out to the left, trying to get rid of the ball. But Kashawn Curtin is taking the sack. Good thing he didn't fumble on that one. So now third and 21 here, just trying a desperation throw 
And that's almost an interception. And that's going to be another punt. So Tennessee comes back out. All they pretty much have to do is milk this clock, get into the end zone, but not with this defense. They're playing pretty good. Besides that big play just given up by Orlando Norman, this defense has been playing better gotcha, in the bitch. second half. So here on a second and 13, getting to Steve Jones. is That's Kier Patterson getting in on the sack. So now third and 16. Here is Banks getting the screen pass. Not enough. Gain of five. But now that's another punt for this Tennessee offense. So can our offense match theirs as we get the pass to Garrison Burnett? Remember, he's going to get in at receiver. I do want to see him a lot, but look on the next play. Throw one out to the right side. Mike Harrison, the reliable sure-handed Mike Harrison, coming back for his sophomore season. He coughs it up, and that's a crucial fumble, and that's a clean strip on that one as Tennessee takes back over with under three minutes left, giving the ball to Jeremy Banks. Like I said, they're going to try to milk this clock now for sure as now that we get him down to a third and eight, throwing the ball out to Banks. Allen Kings almost gets the tackle but slows him down enough, and that's a tackle by Orlando Norman on the outside as they do have to kick the long field goal, and that one is good, making it a 13-point lead. So two and a half minutes left. In this game, here's Kashawn Curtin rolling out to the right side. We still have hope in this game. And there is Angel Gonzalez getting open. And he makes it 90 yards on five receptions on that catch. So now on a second and 10, Kashawn Curtin is taking the sack. And now we're faced with a third and 12, dumping it off to Garrison Burnett. And he's using his abilities there, making something out of nothing. And he gets it to a fourth and one. So now on a fourth and one, throwing the ball across the middle, and that's Angel Gonzalez. Once again, nine yards on that one. So first and 10. The drive stays alive. Rolling out to the right side. Curtin throws over the middle, and that's Garrison Burnett. He's had a pretty big role down the stretch of this game. Another big catch and another big first down. So now second and eight, a minute and a half left in this game. And look at Tyron Summers still getting his carries up to 150 yards in this game on 22 carries. But here is Jimbo Brown finishing it off. And this is crucial as we now have to kick an onside kick just to keep this game alive. So here is Dos Santos. He kicks it. And that's going to be bobbled oh, by the receiving team. And Xavier Davis is there to pick it up. Wow, did not see that one coming. Anybody that plays NCAA football knows how hard it is to get these onside kicks. And we get one. So we have a minute and 15 left to drive the length of the field. There is Tyron Summers starting it out with a nice carry up the middle for a first down. And on the next play, we give it to him for four yards, but this time is ticking. So now on the second and six, here's Kashawn Curtin rolling out to the right side, has about 50 yards to go, and look, he coughs it up. And Kashawn Curtin fumbles on the dive, and the Tennessee Volunteers are gonna fall on it. Take another look at how close this was. That could have easily been down by contact. Look at the ball. It's coming out just as Kashawn Curtin hits the ground. But unfortunately, NCAA football does not allow you to challenge that. And wow, what a way to lose the opener as Coastal. Wow, we were that close to being our first major conference team at SEC. But we come up that short as man we actually are we could be a second half team because that first half it was atrocious we fumbled on the one yard line we had an interception we had three turnovers but we turned it around the second half but two fumbles pretty much killed it for us in this game three fumbles total but two in the second half killed it for us in this game because if you take away two of those fumbles i mean we're winning this game but man, what a way to go out in the opener. But I guess if there's a couple of takeaways, Angel uh, Gonzalez is going to be, he's going to be a monster in the slot. I got to say, Tyron Summers is going to continue to be the dominant force that he is. Because Sean Curtin was accurate for the most part. But our defense, 
just has to pick it up. Our pass rush has to be there this year or else we can't give quarterbacks that much time to throw the ball. Banks ran for 126. It seemed like he ran for a lot more than 126, but he only had 126 yards. It's kind of funny to say only, but we give it, gave up one big play to Jason Williams. Orlando Norman let him go past him, but man, what a loss. As we put up 519 total yards of offense, but we start this season out 0-1. It was a tough road game, so I can't even be mad. That was a good effort by this team. It actually gives me hope because if we played that well versus SEC school, I think we can make some noise preparing for Appalachian State this year because that's the game that we're circling. We also go against Alabama. That's a big game. So you guys don't want to miss season four action. We did lose the opener, but this is going to be a good season. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. Make sure you stay tuned and let's get it. Season four, let's go.